I don't have a doorbell. Hello? Hi, my name is Sai, the delivery guy, from Sai Deliveries Incorporated. If you need a package delivered, call Sai, the package giver. I'm still working on the slogan. Here's my card. So, I have a package for you. And I need you to sign here, 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 and here. Thank you very much, enjoy your package. See ya! I wonder what this is. I don't remember ordering anything. Maybe it's a late Christmas gift? Well, no point in guessing. Unfortunately, I don't own a tachometer. Finally, I can test it! If you're new to the channel, you probably have no idea what's going on on this video. Well... Hi! My name is Integza. Welcome to the channel! I tend to do long and reductive intros, and I like to explore science-related subjects. Yep. Recently, I started a project in which I'm trying to replicate an invention, found in a 106 years old patent, using my 3D printer Sabrina and Claudette. This invention is a bladeless radial turbine that was invented by the one and only Nikola Tesla. In the first iteration, I printed the simple and easy to print design of the Tesla turbine. The result was pretty nice, but I had no way of seeing how fast it could go. Because I was too impatient to wait for the digital tachometer to arrive on the mail, which by the way is a device to measure rotation speed, I decided to build my own version using a photo interrupter and an Arduino board. Testing the turbine and reading its speed, I got a top speed of 11,000 rotations per minute. I was pretty proud of my results, and I was happy with my low-cost digital tachometer. But not all of you were satisfied. Jeffrey Van Blargen, asking me if I remember to divide the output by 2. What do you think I am? A stupid? So, to clear all doubts, I bought a 2234C digital tachometer. It's very popular on YouTube for being cheap, accurate, and being able to read up to 100,000 RPMs. Link in the description. To use the digital tachometer, I had to take off the aluminium cover from the flywheel and place a piece of reflective tape that comes with the tachometer. In the first test, I only got 6000 rotations per minute. Not looking so good. In hopes of getting a better result, I switched the inlet and got a top speed of 7500 RPMs. Which is better, but not nearly good enough. Was Jeffrey right? Did I forget to divide the output by 2? Nah, was just a badly tightened nut. So, I tested again and got a top speed of not 7000, not 11000, but 25000 RPMs. It's a new record for the channel. What a milestone. To commemorate, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. But wait, there's more. As we speak, a new Tesla turbine is being designed and printed at Intexa Corporation. This will be the version 2.0. And in the next video, we'll be measuring not only speed, but also power and efficiency. So don't miss the next episode, because I sure won't. Integza out!